Hey all, Choi Boy here, and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be revealing my Sharesies portfolio. It has changed immensely from what you would have seen so far. This is the kind of update for April, just to show you the five stocks I've bought in the past weeks. Now, remember this is not financial advice. Uh, when I show you these stocks, it does not mean buy them. I did put a bit of delay on making this video because I didn't want people to FOMO into the companies I am in. I know it's a very sensitive time and everyone wants a piece of the cake. To sum it all up, it did really well. My five stocks all went positive, uh, heavily positive for some of them. And you know, we've seen that pump in the uh, stock market for the past week. It's really important that you do your own research and all that kind of stuff before you buy and sell stocks. Now, please remember this video is not a flag for you to buy these stocks please remember that right now my sharesies account you can see that it is 3.6k um just looking at the portfolio itself as a whole i've invested roughly like three uh, 3100 bucks and then now i have a 528.72 dollars um, in profits and uh, that equates to 16.8 percent of my portfolio so this is a very big, big improvement from my previous update. So in the previous update, you would have seen that I was on negative um, 9%, 8% or something like that. And yeah, um, me buying these stocks, I was able to go positive. But how much longer can I keep the positive uptrend? I'm not too sure because after thinking about a lot of these things, I don't really know why the price has been pumping in the past weeks when things haven't got any much better the New Zealand economy actually didn't get that much better and people are probably just speculating on the fact that it will do better in the near future but after Jacinda Ardern um, has announced that level 3 is actually not going to be that much of a difference from level 4 except for the fact that you can start working again and just be careful but a lot of the public places would still be closed like bars restaurants and entertainment so that being said the economy shouldn't be recovering too fast and I just don't know why a lot of these stocks are pumping. It was a nice pump to look at to be honest so we'll get straight into it. And for the five stocks I have recently bought as you guys would be very curious about, let's get to them. So the five stocks are Abano Healthcare Group, we got Bliss Technologies and Kathmandu Holdings and Plexure Group and we got Vista Group international now these are the five stocks i bought so it must have been i bought it last week wednesday so i bought it last week wednesday yeah they went very positive as you can see abano is up 40 percent bliss technologies is up 22 percent so far uh katmandu's up 24 percent Plexure Group's around 5.5% and Vista Group is up 37.27. Vista actually went up to like 47% but it did die off just before trading closed on Friday 17th April 2020. So all these stocks I bought last week, second week of April. So they did me pretty good. I actually don't know why they pumped so early i just thought it was a nice time because they were all hitting very low bottoms and not except for a few so bliss and plexure they weren't hitting bottoms these were purely picked on based on like the sector they are in and the company they are and the products they make they are not necessarily so impacted by the lockdown period and they will not be impacted in the future as well so for that since I thought it was a nice buy, Abano, Kathmandu and Vista Group has been heavily shut down due to the lockdown and their prices have plummeted so much um, in the past month or two. So that's why I thought I'd pick it up. Let's go into each one and just see why I bought them. So Abano pretty much is uh, famous for owning Luminos Dentist and a whole bunch of other subsidiaries and they have a lot of healthcare businesses in there and it's relatively low market cap. It's like 40 million or so. Um, so it's actually quite a small company, but they're actually doing all right. I mean, 
the massive drop here is mainly because they had a deal going on with someone called Bitco, which is a company. Um, so Bitco was supposed to buy them out or something like that at a pretty high price, like $5.50. Do fact check that, but I think it was at $5.50 they were going to be bought, but that didn't happen. But also because that didn't happen at a, such a bad timing at uh, with COVID-19 and stuff, everything tumbled down from $5 all the way down to $1.17. Now you can see that I bought around $1.33, which is a pretty good buy. So I was like, okay, they actually own some really nice businesses. Um, once the lockdown kind of, you know, uh, releases a bit and the dentist starts operating and stuff like that again, then it would be a nice recovery for them and I honestly think they're very undervalued right now just because um, they are a really good business in general. Uh, they're a solid business. Um, debt was pretty high for what I've last saw but I think their cash flow will uh, let them recover in a nice way especially with being... Is it, Especially at being healthcare sector, it's a really nice sector in a recession or in a downturn. So it's not too bad of a buy here. It's just really cheap right now. It's like nearly five times the difference between the low and high right now in within a month. So I thought I'd buy some of that. Bliss Technologies, they make probiotics. They pretty much for the immune system. And I think this is something that people might be interested in. Coming with COVID-19, a lot of people are thinking about stronger immune systems. And this is what their product line lines up to pretty much because they make probiotics for the immune support. And I think that's a pretty good kind of uh, market to be in at this Point in time they do um, sell a lot of their products to America and China and Europe as well which were the impacted ones of COVID-19 so I think that's another really good business for them as well and they've actually hit an all-time high I mean they haven't been at the uh, price levels they are currently in for a very long time I think the last time they hit 99 cents was uh, back in 2011 so it's um, been quite a while it's very interesting that they actually went over the price kind of top here of 6.5 cents so you can see that I bought pretty much at the top I bought at the top and at this point it would either go back down and be rejected from the resistance level or it'll just go on top and I made a very very strong gamble on this one and it just turned out to be right so it didn't do anything for the next few days then it just pumped completely and I did not expect this but I think the company as a whole is a very good business at this point in time hopefully by this incident of you know uh, people caring more about immune system and stuff like that they have a stronger business to come in the future so that's why i bought some of this one it's relatively uh, small cap as well they're around around 100 mil market cap at the moment so that's relatively small company as well katmandu is also a very interesting gamble just because they had a lot of uh, controversial things happen to them they had a capital raise that happened recently and yeah, um, just being just with the lockdown of New Zealand, um, they're not really in a good state. But I did see a lot of positive things happen to them, especially with the capital raise. The government actually bought some of uh, Kathmandu shares, so I saw that. I used something called Simply Wall Street, and Simply Wall Street pretty much gathers all the information of company stocks and stuff like that, and all the balances and all the equity to um, revenue debt they show you everything all the insider tradings and stuff like that um so um it does cost a bit so but it's a really good purchase for me so i saw some little interesting things they have a very strong business and it's a very iconic new zealand brand that just got completely smashed you can see it went from three dollars sixty all the way down to 70 cents and it went even lower to 62 cents as you can see i actually bought right at the bottom it went to 62 cents and I was like, okay, their capital raise was done at 50 cents and I get to buy market rate of 62 cents. So I was like, okay, I I'm not waiting any longer. I'm just going to buy. So I just bought and it turned out okay. They actually pumped 
quite a bit. So very interesting. Uh, they're still going up, but we'll have to see if this is a proper uptrend or not. As I said, um, retail is still going to be closed in level three of New Zealand lockdown. Uh, coming out of the lockdown, it'll still be not that great for Kathmandu. So we'll see how the price kind of reacts to that. But yeah, it's a nice little short-term pump here. We got uh, we call this a dead cat bounce. So if it's if this is a dead cat bounce, then we expect the price to come back down a bit lower than it is right now. Just because the price pump is not really backed up by any fundamentals. The economy is actually not so great right now, but everything's pumping, like the stock prices. So it, it doesn't really make sense. So in that kind of aspect, it's a very interesting one. But just because it's a New Zealand iconic brand and it's got a very strong business in general, in normal circumstances, um, I thought it's a very cheap stock to buy up and it can potentially recover very, very well in the coming years. Plexia... As I said in the previous videos, um, I used to work at this place and I am legally able to trade this company's stocks. So thank God for that because I think this company is actually doing very well. A lot of their clients are actually outside of New Zealand. As you can see, they're strongly um, related to McDonald's, Ikea and 7-Eleven. And they've signed with White Castle, um, which they publicly listed as well. Um, they um, also signed with another company, I don't remember what it's called, but because so many things are changing in this company, and this company used to be very small even two, three years ago. This company, I've seen it grow, I've been with this company throughout its hard stages of transitioning from a small company, like a startup-y company, into like a, a traditional kind of SME. And I think it's a very good business. Their revenue stream is not locked down to just New Zealand economy. So it's a very nice one to have here. I'm not going to go into too much detail of what the company actually does. But for people who use the New Zealand McDonald's app, Plexia powers up that app. So New Zealand McDonald's and 55 other countries or probably more now of uh, McDonald's globally use Plexia to um, list up their coupons and stuff like that on the McDonald's apps. Very, very personal kind of thing here, but I do really like their business. Vista Group International is the last one I bought. Um, this one is the software for cinemas. It is unfortunate that these guys are directly related to an impact of COVID-19. Remember, because we're in a lockdown and a lot of the other countries globally are slowly going into a lockdown and stuff like that, um, the cinema sector is not really doing that great. Entertainment in general is not doing that great because people are avoiding face-to-face -face interactions and cinema is like a large gathering of people watching movies so obviously they did take a very very big hit um, they are very global they have a lot of um, business in Asia Europe Middle East and Africa Canada United States and all over the place it's a very good business in general um, they did have a capital raise announcement yesterday I believe or the, the day before like two days ago um, yeah so it's very interesting. It is a hard time for these guys and the price dropped crazy amounts. Like only like a year ago, they hit like $6.20 and they went all the way down to 96 cents. It's just, it's just crazy. Nonetheless, I thought the bottom was really appealing. It was like, it went down to 96 cents. Then it went to like a dollar and I bought in. I bought in straight up. I don't know what price I exactly bought in at but I, I bought in I, I just couldn't wait any further because um, yeah it, it was just too cheap and their business is really good so I've mainly picked the ones either they have a strong business even during a recession or they just been smashed by COVID-19 but once everything starts to recover, then they will have a really nice recovery. And that's what I'm banking it on. So my portfolio here right now is very, very high risk. Uh, I'm not going for blue chip companies or anything like that at the moment. Just because I think there are more opportunities of getting good returns from smaller companies that's been smashed by COVID-19. But once everything goes off... Um, 
they will have a really good business. So Vista is one of them as well. And hopefully we go to level two at New Zealand um, soon, then they can start operating and they get back some of their revenue that they have lost in the past months. So yeah, these are the five stocks I have bought. They're all very up, but we don't know how long this is going to last. Please remember, it may as well go back to the price that I bought it at and even lower. And at that point in time, I'll probably buy more of these companies. Remember, stock investing is very long term game. Um, we don't know what's going to happen in the next year or so. But we do know that good companies that has fundamentals, strong fundamentals will last over the hard times we have at the moment and they will continue to grow in the next five to 10 years. If you liked today's video, please give me that thumbs up. Put a comment down below what you thought and any companies you bought in the recent days and yeah, spark some discussions up. So subscribe to the channel, put a bell notification on for other updates. Till next time. See ya.